I feel like I know you all, and I've only met a couple of you. But it is that relationship connection that gets us here and keeps us here, because that's where the rewards come from. Uh, two quick vignettes about why I teach high school, although while I've listened to everyone else, I'm thinking, maybe kindergarten is where I should go, or <laughs> the fourth grade sounds so wonderful. Because you get to see 30 kids max. Um, I have 165 kids every day. And I even teach summer school, and one of the reasons that I do that is because now in our district, kids who have not been successful get to repeat it in summer school, and that's five hours a day, five days a week. And so they didn't want to be there the first time, and they sure don't want to be there the second time. <laughs> so about Wednesday morning at 10.30, when somebody out of the blue says, oh, I get that! <laughs> That's why I teach summer school. <laughs> I teach three levels of math, Algebra 1A, Algebra 2, and Transition to Algebra 2. And in my Algebra 1A class, I am very often able to um, connect with students who have not been successful in math before. So I had the opportunity a couple of years ago of uh, working with a young woman who was found it very difficult to speak nicely in my class. And uh, it's not just because of the color of my hair, but I really insist on good language, so I asked her to leave, and she tossed a few more on her way out. So I followed her to the office a little while later to ask the vice principal to help remove her from my class. That was vice principal number one. Vice principal number two came to me and said, Robin, you teach avid sophomores. I have the student who I've discovered cannot write an essay, and I just am hopeful that you have a spot in your sophomore avid class so that we can help this person out. And I said, well, okay, who is it? Who do you think? <laughs> and I said, when I found out who the student was, I said, that student will not come back into my class. The student came into the, into the AVID class. Um, she stayed in my math class. She stayed in my AVID class. She never missed another day of school. She worked through the AVID program. She passed the high school exit exam. And she was one of Daryl Steinbrenner's outstanding graduates from Rio Americano High School last year. So it works. That's why we're here. I am so grateful to you, all of you, colleagues and parents, for sharing your children with us. You have really um, blessed us, and I'm grateful. Thanks.